Hello, good morning, friend. Welcome back to your favorite channel, Code One Digest. Today, in this video, we will learn about a new design pattern that is decomposed by subdomain microservice design pattern. We will see a real-world example of this design pattern. We'll also see the use cases of this design pattern, and later we'll understand the benefit of this design pattern. Friends, in the previous video, we discussed about decomposed by business capabilities design pattern. Can you explain what is decomposed by capabilities design pattern says? Provide your answer in the comment section of this video. If you have not seen that video, so please go and watch that video. The link is provided on your screen and also in the description section of this video. So for more information, go and watch the previous video on Code One Digest channel. Friends, here is the agenda of this video. I'll give you the introduction of this design pattern. Then we'll see a real world example of this design pattern. We'll see the use cases of this design pattern and understand the benefit of this design pattern. And at the end, I'll summarize what we learn in this video. We also touch upon very briefly about the next video that is on decomposed by transaction design pattern. So stay tuned till end of this video. Friends, before we proceed in this video, I want you to subscribe my channel to grow Code One Digest family. Friends, I'm creating a lot of quality contents for you, but I'm not getting subscribers. I want you to like, share and subscribe my channel so that I can grow Code One Digest family. Thank you. Let's begin, shall we? Okay, friends, so let's start with decomposed by subdomain design pattern. Microservice architecture structures an application as a set of loosely coupled services. The goal of microservice architecture is to accelerate software development by enabling continuous delivery and deployment. So this pattern says define a services corresponding to domain driven design subdomains. So here DDD refers the business as a domain and domain is consists of multiple subdomains. Each subdomain correspond to a different part of your business. Subdomain can be classified core subdomain that is a key differentiator for your business and most valuable part of your application. Then you can also have a supporting subdomain that is related to what the business does, but not differentiator that can be implemented in house or outsource. Then you have a generic subdomain not specific to business and are ideally implemented using off the shelf softwares. So DDD is increased collaboration between the large technology term teams by creating a common language on changing business rules. In simple terms, DDD is solving a complex problem is usually to break the problem into smaller parts and focus on those smaller problems that are relatively easy. A complex domain may contain subdomains and some of the subdomains can combine and group with each other for common rules and responsibilities. So we can say the group of subdomains are bounded context. In order to identify subdomain or bounded context, so we should use domain driven design. We have two prerequisites for decomposition of microservices. Services must be cohesive and services must be loosely coupled. So if we look at our domain, which is e-commerce application, the subdomain of our online store, it will have product catalog subdomain, inventory management as a subdomain, order management as a subdomain and delivery management as a subdomain. So let's understand this design pattern with an example of insurance monolithic application. The diagram shows that the sales and marketing services are broken down into smaller microservices. The purchasing and the claim models are important business differentiator for sales and are split into two separate microservices. Marketing is decomposed by using supporting business functionalities such as campaign, analytics and reporting. So these are the subdomains into the bigger domain. Now let's understand this example which shows you the bounded context and the subdomains. When we design a large application, it's crucial to discuss with domain experts to defining domains and subdomains and evaluate the bounded context with domain expert. Domain experts will help you to identify the subdomains and bounded context for your microservices. 
For example, in this image, there are several bounded contacts like customers, order, payment, and so on. And there is a subdomain inside of the bounded contacts that subdomain are representing same data but naming differently due to domain experts area. So now we can say microservices can represent a bounded context or a part of it. In other words, a bounded context can create more than one microservices. This is entirely a decision to be made based on the microservice needs for scalability and independence. While a bounded context defines the boundaries of the domain and microservices determines the technical and organizational boundaries as the same way for bounded context domain. Let's understand the use cases of this design pattern, where and how to use decompose by subdomain design pattern. So use this design pattern whenever you want to break monolithic application to the microservices. Use this pattern if the domain has more subdomains. Use this pattern if there is a bounded context across the multiple domains. Use this pattern to create cohesive, stable, loosely coupled microservices. So now let's understand the advantages that we get out of this design pattern. This design pattern creates loosely coupled architecture. It provides scalability, resiliency, maintainability, extensibility, location transparency, and time independency. This design pattern also makes the system more scalable and predictable. Using this design pattern, we can make our development team to work independently across the functions. Okay friends, so let me summarize what we learned in this video today. I gave you an introduction of decomposed by subdomain design pattern. We saw a real world example of this pattern. Then I shown you a use cases of this design pattern and we also understood the benefit of this design pattern. So friends, let me know if you have already used this design pattern in your project or seen a scenario where this pattern can be very useful. Please provide your answer in the comment section of this video. Friends, in the next video, we will discuss a new design pattern that is decomposed by transaction design pattern. We will learn what is decomposed by transaction design pattern. We will see a real world example of that pattern. We will understand the use cases and benefit of that pattern. So stay tuned for the next video and do subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel to grow code one digest family thank you friends if you like this video so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues this is very useful information for students beginners and software engineers i am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents so please help me growing the code one digest family please subscribe to code one digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos thank you